So here's the deal. There's a group of sisters online dating some old Caucasian men, right? Like not old, but older. And they got on there, it says, I bet they don't have to go 50-50. Meaning like they don't have to pay half of the bills and this and that. But they don't understand that even if they don't have to go 50-50, it's a lot of guys that's paying for everything for the woman. Will Smith, Russell Wilson. The list go on and on. That don't mean they're going to get respect. Some people just respect other people based on whatever. They feel like they have to respect them. You know, based on whatever. So just because they do something, it might be more appreciated when they do it than when, when the brothers do it. You understand? So, but you making that, that, that statement, whoever made that statement and got them over there, that don't mean nothing. There's a lot of brothers out there that's married to witches. They married to chocolate witches. So, just because a man treat a woman good, it don't mean that it's gonna be appreciated it don't mean that he gon' she gonna love him. Um, and from what we see, most guys get most guys get the worst treatment. The more they do, and the guys that do the less get the best treatment. In most cases, as you probably already know, in your friendships and relationships. You know that it's a lot of good brothers out there that's getting dogged, getting cheated on, lied to, saying the baby is theirs when it's not theirs, all kind of stuff. Not getting no intimacy. But if you get with a certain type of man, if you get with the man on a the dollar, then all of a sudden you want to act like goody two shoe. When you want to be more appreciative when he do something. But you're not appreciative when a brother do something. I got family members that's Caucasian, and they tell me, they tell me, yeah, for sure. They definitely, their interactions with, with, with the sisters is definitely a more positive experience than what they see what the brothers are doing. So I'm getting inside scoop on it because I, I have family members that's uh, Caucasian. So they tell me all of the stuff that how how they the sisters treat them um how good they treat them how they, how they try to talk proper around them they try to twist their tongue act like they got something to prove to them like see i can be nice all of us not ignorant see look i can be nice so i don't even know why they put stuff like that online because everything somebody do, they don't get the same results. That go for women, that go for women too. That go for she creatures too. Just cause a woman treat a man good, she gotta treat the right man good. A man gotta treat the right woman good. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it go. You gotta, you gotta do, you gotta do the right things. You gotta do the right things for the right person can't do all the right things for the wrong person. You can't. You can't make somebody love you. Man, if somebody love you, man, you can be broke. <laughs> you can be broke, handicapped, anything. If somebody love you, man, or somebody love you, you ain't gotta have much, man. You ain't gotta have much. All this is about, as you already know, this all this is about love, man. It's amazing how all this confusion, all this stuff between men and women and families and relationships is about love, but ego, selfishness, pride, all this is getting in the way of love. All that, all that is getting in the way of love, man. So. All that is getting in the way of love. Dude. So, 
be careful. Be careful who you love. Don't do all the right things for the wrong person. I don't care how good they look, how nice their body is, how much swag they got. I don't care how she walk, how her hips is, how much how fat that thing is back there. Don't waste your life forcing to be with somebody just for superficial reasons. We all have done it in some form or fashion for some period of time. Don't go your whole life doing all the right things for the wrong person. You know, I'd rather be with an average looking person with an amazing personality and good heart and they love me for who I am. But not telling you to get with an average person because all of them not appreciative either. All of them not don't have good hearts either. Just because somebody don't look good in your mind, you know what I'm saying? It don't mean that they have, it don't mean that they have a good heart, you know what I'm saying? So, it all, uh, it all varies, you know? But, it's just amazing how they want to post that, like, but you don't realize, sometimes people don't realize, or maybe they do realize, or maybe they're in denial, that or maybe they in denial that that they acting better around this person and that they're more appreciative when somebody else do it so how are you gonna win how a brother gonna win or get some credit when he do the things and he get taken advantage of and in, in, in most cases a lot of brothers but you another guy do it from a different a different body form, a human with a different body form, different complexion, different hair, hair color. They do the same thing, and all of a sudden, it's appreciated. So you gotta be careful how you, who you do what for. Because people, you can do everything, and somebody's still not gonna love you, appreciate you. And you can do, and you can do, And you can do nothing and the person can just be. Most of these people have challenge attraction, meaning they're attracted to you as long as you're not paying them attention. As long as you don't, you're not giving them your heart and you don't act like you really enjoy yourself around them, they'll keep coming around you and acting nice. But the moment they think they got your full undivided attention and they think you care or love them, they start acting like a... So that's the type of world we live in, y'all. That's the type of world we live in. About to go to Bible study. I hope y'all been praying, and man. Praying in Jesus' name. Pray for your family. Pray for your protection, your health. We live in a wild world, man. And uh, nothing is promised. Tomorrow prom not promised. So sometimes we save money, and sometimes the money we save, we don't even get to see it. Because tomorrow not promised. Not telling you to spend all your money, just letting you know that you can count all your eggs all you want. It don't mean it's gonna happen. It don't mean they all gonna hatch. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take it one day at a time because you just never know what's gonna um what the future holds, man. But I'm Adam Williams, the Realionaire. Don't just watch this video. Share it to your Facebook page. Uh, share the link to your Facebook page and follow me on Instagram at Alan Realionaire Show and uh. And we can do a consultation or I can we can talk to you about some other stuff that works well for me. Also, um, follow me on uh, Facebook at Ben Gooney Magic. All of, the link is in the description box of my videos. So follow me on Facebook. Don't just watch the video and don't follow me on Facebook. So I'll holler at y'all later, man. I'm about to eat some some pizza man i don't trust people cooking my food man you gotta watch these people i know y'all seen that video with that dude stumping on dough at the pizza place and y'all be wanting to travel but these people cook their food in some nasty ways but they even do that here but, but you just don't see it on video like that but stay prayed up man uh it's all a spiritual warfare thank god that we alive today um, I'm gonna I'm probably do a, let me know if you want me to do a live on this topic Let me know if you want me to do a live on this topic I think I might do a live on this topic just to hear what the brothers got to say 
just to hear that. Hey, much love to y'all. Stay prayed up. Press like, subscribe, hit that notification, share these videos to your TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Much love.